it appears season four of True Detective have cast Jodie Foster's partner in the series. Because recently I talked about True Detective season four casting Jodie Foster, probably hoping to revive this franchise, you know, getting people to care about it like they did during season one with Matthew with Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrison, who did an incredible job. And the show since then has just declined with the, uh, was it, was it Clive Owen? I mean, not Clive Owen, uh, the Irish dude and Vince Vaughn, <laughs> I forget his name. He just played the Penguin recently in the Batman movie. And I can't believe, I, I really can't remember his name right now. But yeah, and it was just as forgettable as his name is. That's how forgettable that season was. And then you had season three that had Marshala Ali and somebody else. I mean, that's all I know. I just know he was cast in season three, which, again, I paid no attention to. But now with season four, with the casting of Jodie Foster from, you know, Silence of the Lambs fame, you know, you have people probably anticipating this just a bit more because, you know, people know her for playing the uh, classic uh, detective in that series starring, uh, or in that movie starring opposite Anthony Hopkins. But it, it appears <laughs> that Jodie Foster's talents won't be able to save this because it seems like they're really going in the direction as with all things, pro wokey woke Because not only have they cast a uh, diversity casting, but this diversity casting specifically has little to no acting experience. Because the actress who has been cast to play Jodie Foster's partner, Callie Reyes, she has... Little to no uh, acting experience. She was in a 2021 movie, but her actual profession is that of a boxer. And her professional record is 19 wins, 7 losses, and 1 draw. With her most recent fight being in November of 2021. So, she's a boxer. That's what she actually is. She's not really an actress at all. But here's one of the main reasons why they cast her. Apparently, she is a motivational speaker and vocal supporter of the missing and murdered indigenous women and girls movement, where she teaches young native women how to fight both physically and vocally against the targeting of native youth. Basically, they, they cast her not just for the diversity quota, but also the socio-political agenda that's attached to her. And I'm sure uh, those uh, people victimizing those Native women, I'm sure they don't meet the uh, description that the Hollywood mainstream likes to complain about or talk about all the time. Now, to remind people... What this true to true detective season four will be? Uh, it's focused in a fictional town, I believe, in Enos, Alaska, and will focus on six men that operate an Arctic research station in uh, Enos, Alaska, and their disappearance without a trace. And to solve the case, you will have detectives. Liz Danvers, played by Jodie Foster, and Evangeline Navario, played by the boxer chick. And they will have to confront the darkness they carry in themselves and dig into the haunted truths that lie buried under the eternal ice. And it's stated that this particular season is being shot in Iceland. So, it'll be focused in Alaska, the actual show, but the show itself will be filmed in Iceland. And, again, 
I don't see anything good coming out of this outside of people anticipating Jodie Foster's performance. I mean, unless Jodie Foster can work miracles and bring this boxer chick who really isn't an actress at all, uh, bring her up to speed to where she'll be able to hang in, hang in there with uh, Jodie Foster, you know, on the acting level. Because again, the, the most anticipation uh, for this series is for Jodie Foster and people being able to see Jodie Foster play a police detective again. Because again, I, I mean, I haven't been keeping up with her filmography, but I don't know if she's sort of played a Clarice Starling type character since she starred in The Silence of the Lambs. And, you know, usually where True Detective would go, it's uh, very psychological, like how Silence of the Lamb is psychological. Or at least the, the only good season, season one, was like that. And so people, I can see people watching this just to anticipate seeing Clarice, in a sense, you know, assume her role again. And apparently she's going to be rocking the gray hair as well. But yeah, we'll see uh, how this eventually turns out, especially once we you know get some trailers and an episode or two. But uh, so far, not so good. <laughs> the only uh, good part of, of this is Jodie Foster has been cast. I'm, I'm I'm assuming in the lead role, and uh, she has a boxer starring opposite of her. So she's going to have a lot of work on her hands working with an inexperienced actress. But uh, this is how they're generally casting things because they're just about the diversity quota and the virtue signal for whatever charity or agenda that they're trying to push at the time. Which I'm sure this show itself will be focused in some sort of agenda. Perhaps focusing on uh, the victimhood of indigenous women, even though the uh, premise that's given is about six men disappearing from a research station in Alaska. But, you know, they can always uh, take it away from the main plot and try to make the subplot the main plot, especially if it's about uplifting uh, female characters, which I assume that's what True Detective Season 4 is going to be about a, a feminist cop show, basically. But, as always, we shall see.